as writers, we make choices all the time. When we are writing a narrative, we are constantly making choices. An important one is whether to tell a story in the past tense or the present, and choices are good. So make one. Pick a story time, and then please, for God's sake, stick to it. If your story is being told in present tense, tell it in the present tense. If your story is being told by a narrator today, looking back, tell it in the past tense. Just don't start writing passages in the present tense because they suddenly feel very real and immediate to you, the author. It will confuse your readers. Only do it if the story calls for it. If, if it is in service to your story, if you can tell a better story by shifting tenses and signaling to readers that you're doing that so they don't get confused, go ahead and do it. Right now I'm working on an essay that's set in 1989. 1989. So I've chosen to write it in the past tense because it's really important that everything I learned between 1989 and 2014 come to bear in the way I tell that story. I am looking and telling a story about a younger self and understanding the difference between that younger self and who I am now. So everything in that story that I'm telling is in the past tense, unless I want to talk about who I am right now in 2014, and then I'm going to put it in the present. Now, maybe I would have wanted to tell that story in the present tense. Like I, my whole memoir that was published in 2009 is in the present tense. Let's say I want to write this essay in 1989 in the present tense so that you are taking this journey. <clears throat> it was my first trip to Europe. I was young. I was traveling by myself for the first time. And let's say that I want you to take this journey with me step by step. I might choose to tell it in the present tense. But then I'm telling it from the consciousness of a 25-year-old. And I can talk about what happened three months earlier as I was buying the ticket. That'll be in the past tense. But everything that happens as I walk through those, it's a, the, the whole thing takes place in the course of a month, and most of it within three days. So everything that takes place in the course of those three days, moving forward to the end of that month, is in the present tense. My flashbacks are in the past. But I can't suddenly just jump ahead and become a narrator today in the middle of a paragraph and start writing in the past tense. When you're very skilled at understanding tense, then you can section break maybe step forward to who you are today and look back and then go back into your story. That's, that'll work. And sometimes that's really fun for readers. But you have to signal that you're doing that. You can't just put it in the middle of a paragraph. Verbs are the action words of any story, right? You can't tell a story without verbs, obviously. They are critically important. They're also really, really important to keep consistent because that's how your readers stay oriented in time. This is probably the number two or three problem that I see in student papers, is that verb tenses shift all over the place. Always write the second thing that comes to mind. Because the first thing that comes to mind when we're whipping out a first draft, and it's fine, have cliches in your first draft. That's fine. You're trying to get the story down. That's what's important. But when you go back and revise and revise and polish, take them out. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind is usually what we grab for, because it's right there in the cultural dialogue. And we think people are going to understand it and relate to it. So we just reach out and grab the first image that comes to mind. But really what readers want from you as the writer is something that only you would come up with, something so fresh and unique that it's going to startle them and think, yes, that's exactly what it looks like or that's exactly what it feels like, or that verb, I've never seen it used that way before. But yes, that's exactly how it is. So you take out your cliches and put in something that you have to work harder to come up with, because that's what writing is. Writing is work. I know a lot of people come here because they think writing's fun. They get here and they discover writing's work, and it's that uh-oh moment. And you know, it's, it's really the come to clarity moment. Do I really, am I really? Well, yeah, you guys are nodding. Am I really willing to put in the work it takes to produce fine prose? And all of you are in this room because you answered yes. 